Tamarack, Minnesota, 700 kilometers northwest of Chicago. Just outside this tiny town, mining company Talon Metals has found rich deposits of nickel, says chief geologist Brian Goldner. This is one of the most high-grade samples, or it is the highest-grade sample I've ever held in my career. These high-grade nickel deposits could help with the shift away from fossil fuels. Nickel is a key component in electric vehicle batteries, and EV sales are climbing. But the United States does not produce enough to meet its needs, Goldner says. In the United States, nickel deposits are quite rare. The only active high-grade nickel mine is Eagle in Michigan. Um, Tamarack would be the second and there isn't really anything else kind of on the radar. But in what's called the land of 10,000 lakes, there are worries about what a nickel mine might do to the environment. In late summer, nearby lakes are covered with wild rice. It's sacred to the Mill Lax Band of Ojibwe Native Americans, says the tribe's natural resources director, Kelly Applegate. It's part of our cultural identity. It's the reason why we are here. Uh, a prophecy told us to migrate to where the food grows upon the waters. But wild rice could be at risk if a common mining problem happens. When the nickel sulfide in the rocks mixes with air and water, it makes sulfuric acid. Acid mine drainage leaves thousands of kilometers of American streams rusty orange and lifeless. The track record for nickel mining is not good globally. There's a lot of risk involved with pollution. It's unfortunate that there's the bad track record, but this is not uh, your grandfather's mine anymore, is what we like to say. Modern mining is uh, completely different. Jessica Johnson heads community relations for Talon Metals. She says the company heard local people's concerns. The key concern we heard from the community is that they didn't want to see tailings and processing of nickel in a wet environment like here in Minnesota. So the company plans to use a nearby rail line to send the ore to North Dakota for processing. But the Mill Lax Band is not convinced, Applegate says. We've only been provided information um, and been told that the mine is going to operate differently or safely. But we don't want to be part of that grand experiment. We really want to see the data that proves it first. Two other proposed nickel and copper mines in Minnesota have hit roadblocks recently over environmental concerns. Meanwhile, global demand keeps growing, Johnson says. These minerals need to come from somewhere, and um, I think this is a great location to do it because it's uh, right in my backyard uh, where we can keep an eye on things, make sure it's done safely and responsibly. Meanwhile, Talon keeps finding more nickel in Tamarack as regulators consider whether the company can mine it safely. Steve Barragona, VOA News.